Hello everybody. We have a special program today. We're going to release faith right into your life right now in Jesus' name and teach you a little bit about faith. Amen. Now, this uh, program here today is going to be talking about what is the most important part about faith. You know, faith, we're going to break it down like this. Faith does not work by memorization. Let me say that again. Faith does not work. You can't get faith to work just because you memorize scriptures. I know a man and a woman, and they raised their children up, and they raised them up, and they thought they was doing the right thing. And I went to a Bible school, and they thought they was doing the right thing. And even I thought I was doing the right thing with my kids. But the thing is, faith doesn't work by memorization. We was all having our kids, Bible school and everything else, was, mem was memorizing scriptures. And But faith doesn't work by memorization. Okay, so faith doesn't work by memorization. And faith does not work by by just simply hearing it what <laughs> i know people get weird over that but faith doesn't work by hearing it In other words you can hear a whole lesson on faith but you can't get it it won't work just because you heard it you hear me no, faith doesn't work by hearing it. Because there's people, they think, well, I listened to this tape or I read this book, and you know, why is my faith not working? It was a tape on faith. It was a book on, or a video on faith, or a video, or a, a, <laughs> or a video, or a teaching on faith, or a book on faith. I got a faith hat or a faith bandana, or a faith necklace. But faith simply does not work by any of those things. Oh, they're good to listen to, and they're fun to watch. I mean, I just got back from a, from a meeting a couple weeks ago, and I was up there. I stayed up there for a whole week, and I really enjoyed the services. They had three services a day, and they taught on faith, and everything, but just because I went to a faith place doesn't mean my faith's going to work. See, so two little simple things here about faith. Now I didn't hear anybody teach this all week long, which it would have been good to teach on. Uh, but I enjoyed the services. I enjoyed everything. And it was a faith place. You'd have loved it. Uh, but two things they did not teach on. Number one. Faith, Romans 10, 17, faith cometh by hearing. Now, they said that scripture a lot of times, but they didn't break it down the way that the Lord has shown me to break it down. Faith cometh by hearing. That means, that means present tense. Now, in the English language, I guess every language, you can have past tense. Faith doesn't work by having heard. Uh, or you can skip over heard, <laughs> can skip over present tense and go into the future, but that would be hope. Faith is never spoken in the future. That's always hope. So listen to yourself talk or listen to other people talk, listen to the teaching you're hearing, and you have to distinguish, oh, this is a hope place, not a faith place. Now you got to remember something about hope. Hope is good because it gets you started and gets you up to a certain place. Okay? It gets you to a certain place. But if you, if you live in hope, that's not a safe place. Because hope will never produce anything. You didn't know that? 
All hope does is just give you a hope, a future and a hope, future and a hope, future and a hope, future and a hope. God has a good future and a hope for you. But you have to take that and use your faith and turn whatever it is that you're believing God for into a reality. Okay, if you think that you're going to operate in hope and it turn into your dream, that's not what hope is for. Hope is for an eager expectation of a future event that is not going to make your dreams come true. You got that? So hope is not a safe place. You can die in hope, but you have to live in faith. And when you start living in faith, well, then things start working the way you want them to work. Okay, so, so the middle part, we have tenses in the English language, or I guess any language. But the tense here, or the spoken part, is, well, I know that God's going to give it to me. Well, that's not faith. That's hope. Okay, so that's future. Tense. As well, I believe God used to do it. I believe God used to. Well, then that's past. That's not, that's not hope either. I mean, that's not faith either. Okay? So what's faith? Faith is always spoken present tense. Two things. You have to hear faith present tense. Romans 10, 17. Faith cometh by hearing. Hear that? Not having heard, not going to heard, hearing right now. You got that? So, somebody said, well, I don't have a tape. Uh, I got in such a predicament that I did. I forgot. I didn't. I, I didn't. I wasn't even around the internet. I couldn't even watch a video or nothing. All you need to do is speak the scriptures that you memorized. Romans ten seventeen is what we're talking about. Give you time to look that up. Faith cometh by hearing. Present tense. Okay, so somebody said, well, I'm not around no TV. I don't have my, all I've got is a Bible. And all I've got is nothing. I, I, I'm so out of it that all I'm doing, all I can do is lay here <laughs> and say I'm healed. Isaiah 53, 5. But guess what? You just said, you just heard faith right out of your mouth into your ears. You just heard faith. You just did the one of the greatest things in the world. You heard faith. Hebrews. See, you just heard faith. You just pleased God. Hebrews 11.6. You just pleased God. You got that? Isn't that wonderful? And so then when you grasp that, you just spoke faith. And Romans 10, 17. So you're doing what? Faith cometh by hearing. But I didn't even hear it on the CD or I didn't even hear it. No, no, you no, 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 no. Hearing it from yourself from your body, from your mind, using your ears and your eyes and your eardrums and your heart throbs, using your system. See? That's where the faith is. That's where the faith is at, in your system, inside of you, in your ears, in your mouth. Okay? So then Romans 10:17. Faith cometh by hearing, by hearing, hearing by the Word of God. You're speaking the Word of God. Romans, see, you're speaking it. You're speaking it. And then, and then, see, you're speaking it. 
And then you speak it present tense. You hear it present tense. You just said it, so you're hearing it. Isaiah 53, 5, by his stripes you're healed. Not going to be healed, not used to be healed. I mean, if the Bible would have said, if the Bible would have said, Isaiah 53, 5, by his stripes, you might be healed. He didn't say that. You're going to be healed. He didn't say that. So you have to say it like the Bible says it is. That's real faith. Bible faith, true faith, Bible faith is when you say what it's, the way the Bible says it is. The Bible says you're healed. Well, I'm praying my, for my mother to be healed. That's not prayer of faith. If you could ever teach her to start saying, Mama, the Bible says you're healed. Oh, I want to be healed, honey. I just want to be healed. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, I want to be healed. Honey, pray. Pray. I'm, oh, honey, pray. The honey, pray, honey, pray, honey, pray is a, is a death wish. And they don't even know it. If they would just teach them a little bit. Isaiah 53, 5 says, By his stripes you're healed. What do you say? Oh, honey, pray, please pray, honey, please, honey, I just want to feel better. Oh, I don't obey. Might as well order the flowers because they're going to die. See, I I've seen pastors. I don't know what these pastors of because they, they wouldn't, they wouldn't speak, they wouldn't pastor, they wouldn't faith people. There's nothing else left but doubt people. Bury their parents, bury their children, bury their relatives, close friends. And they, would, they didn't know a very simple thing about faith. Faith is heard present tense. Like Isaiah 53, 5, by his stripes, you're healed. You're not going to be healed. You're healed. First Peter 2.24 By stripes you were healed. The Bible says be established in present day truth. So you'd just simply speak it present tense. Isaiah 53.5 says by his stripes I'm healed. 1 Peter 2.24 By his stripes I were healed. That's a reference to Isaiah 53.5 So you wouldn't walk around saying I were healed, I were healed. No, you'd say it present tense, I am healed. So if I were healed, I am healed. Say it like that. And then Matthew 8, 17, Himself took my infirmities, bore our sicknesses, and by His stripes, I'm healed. Amen. I, and, and you got that down inside of you. I am the healed. I am the healed. I am the healed. See, and now if you go, you're going through something and your mind, you can tell if your mind's renewed or not, you'll start thinking, why am I, why, why, am I, why am I not healed? Because your mind's not renewed. Or you wouldn't even think that. You just keep right on saying, I'm healed. Because that's what the Bible says. We just gave three references for it right there. And there's a whole bunch more healing scriptures in the Bible than those three. So, by stripes, I'm healed. By stripes, I were healed. I were healed, I am healed. Matthew 8, 17. I'm healed! Well, now my body says. Faith don't go by body says. Well, my mind says, a faith don't work by mind says. Well, I have these memorization. Faith don't work by memorization. Although it's good to memorize some scriptures, especially some healing scriptures, because you might go through a hell storm and a back of a, a back, pulling backwards through a eye of a needle, you know. That's what you feel like sometimes when you're going through a battle. But just tell yourself the whole time, I am in victory. 
I am in victory. I'm not going to win. I am the winner. I'm not going to win. I am the winner. I'm not going to win. I am the winner. See, that's faith. See? You're not saying faith scriptures in hopes of being healed. If you are, you're not in faith. You might be saying the exact same scriptures that I'm saying. But if you're saying them, thinking in your head, oh, I'm saying these so I can get healed, then you're not even in faith. Because faith would just simply say, I am healed. I am the healed. Doesn't matter the, 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 the doctor degree. Doesn't matter if it's COVID. It don't matter what it is. Doesn't matter if it's third degree, fourth degree, fifth degree, cancer, or whatever it is. No, you just say the scriptures. And it don't matter if you get better. It don't matter if you get worse. <laughs> the scriptures will still work because it just simply does not go by the, any, your, any of your five senses or the way you feel or anything. You just keep right on saying it. I had a friend one time and she said, oh, you just, you just fake it until you make it. She wasn't in faith. She never could get healed. Now, I taught her how to get healed of some warts. And uh, I said, she said, I hate these warts. I said, well, you're going to keep right on hating them. I said, do you want to get rid of them? She said, well, yeah, I hate them. I said, well, just because you hate something don't mean it's going to get rid of it. You can hate whatever it is, but it don't mean it's going to get rid of it. You can hate the devil and he just laughs at you. He's not going nowhere. See, you got to tell him, go in Jesus' name. Amen. Come out and go. If it's inside your body, come out and go. See, when you do that. Okay, so. It's not because you hate it. And I just told her, I said, the way you do that is you just simply say, I have clear, clean skin. She'd look down there and say, I hate these warts. Well, that's so. <laughs> that ain't going to do nothing. It just help you hate them more and pus is coming out of them, blood and stuff. And, um, and her skin was getting discolored a little bit. And so I just said, just look down there. So I got clear, clean skin. Thank you, Lord. I got clear, clean skin. Well, shoot, you're releasing faith right there. See? And so she started saying, thank you, Lord. I got clear, clean skin. You know what? I don't know. Two or three weeks went by. She said, look, 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 look. It was all gone. All the warts were gone. She had clear, clean skin. She said, I don't know exactly when that happened because I was just saying it every, just like routine. Thank you, Lord, I got clear, clean skin. See that? Got clear, clean skin. Isn't that wonderful? I could just sit here all day and tell you testimony after testimony how people got healed. Amen. There's a man, he had full-blown COVID, laying in the bed. It was all he could do. Just He didn't even eat in 13 days. And he was just saying the healing scriptures. Just those, those three healing scriptures that I was telling you. And he said, uh, I just saying them, go to bed saying them, wake up saying them. I just say, I sure am glad I'm healed. Isaiah 53, 5, by his stripes, I'm healed. And uh, it took about, he was in that condition for about 14 days. And, but he's fine. He's driving a car, going to the parade, and went to Walmart, and, you know, him and his nephew went out to eat. And you wouldn't think, of, you wouldn't think nothing was ever even wrong with him. But he was, he was actually, as far as the doctors are concerned, he was leaving the planet to go to heaven. <laughs> and, uh, but he's fine. He's, he's doing great. Amen. So let me pray for you today. Maybe you don't even know nothing's going on here, but you're enjoying the video. 
and you'd like to give your life to Jesus right now. Just say, Lord Jesus. That's right, you. Say, Lord Jesus, I give my life to you. I give my heart to you. I give my life to you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says that I'm born again now. So pray and read your Bible every day and you'll grow, grow, grow. Watch these videos. They're all free. And you want to, you, you'll want to get spirit filled. Uh, Acts 19, when you get a Bible. Acts 19 says that they, they, they said, have you received Jesus since you believe? I mean, since you, have you received the Holy Spirit since you believe? They said, well, I hadn't even heard of the Holy Spirit. See? So he taught them a little bit. They got born again in Jesus. And uh, then they decided to, they want to get receive the Holy Spirit. So Paul laid his hands on them. The Holy Spirit came on them and they began to speak in tongues. Well, I can't get to you and I'm definitely not Paul. But uh, any believer can do this. You can receive the Holy Spirit right now in Jesus' name. Get as close as you can to that screen. That's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. Whew. Oh, he's good. <laughs> he's good. Thank you for the anointing. Thank you for the anointing. It breaks every yoke. Even sickness and disease breaks every yoke in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You're so glorious. You're so, you're so thankful. Thank you, Lord. The Holy Spirit's going to come on you now. Right now. He's coming on you now. And you just begin to speak in tongues. Shoropa. That's right. Just start speaking. So ngroka takara de discum from by faith. Romba de skoro de kara batinga da kara ba kumbara kara ba kina ba kara ba kara ba singa da kara ba so ngroko Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah. Now you're the one that starts and stops the Holy Spirit. He's not going to come on you and just start making you speak in tongues. No, you have to yield to Him. He'll come on you, but you got to yield and you got to speak. You can speak again. So, rematele kuro batale kishon kroko dala kala bakangre dos kon kroko dasinge. Jesus mighty name. Right now, Jesus name. Amen. I want to pray for your healing. Right now, in Jesus name. Isaiah 53 5 says, By stripes you're healed. So, what are you saying? To simply say the scripture, Isaiah 53, 5, by his stripes I'm healed. And then go, but don't go by your five senses. Five senses will kill you. <laughs> you want to just go by what the Bible says, it will give you life. It will heal you, keep you walking in health, wealth, and prosperity. Amen. Pray for your finances. Or there's people in bankruptcy. There's people having all kinds of trouble. But uh, financially, hook up with us. We pray for your finances right now in Jesus' name that they be healed. And also, hook up with us on PayPal. Leave a note there. You'd be glad you did. I guarantee it. You have a blessed day. You have a great day. You have a wonderful life. And remember, Jesus loves you. We love you. Uh, you're filled with the Holy Spirit. Pray and read your Bible every day, and you'll grow, grow, grow. And hook up with us on PayPal. Remember, you're the healed. I don't care what the, Bible, what the, what the body's saying. It's what the Bible's saying. You just simply say what the Bible says, and then quit saying, why ain't it working? Oh, I got these bad reports. They don't mean nothing. What matters is you keep saying what the Bible says. You're the healed, bottom line. Have a blessed one.